I'm Dion Leonard, and this is Gobi the Dog. Gobi got her name after meeting Dion in the most unconventional of ways while he was running a seven day, 155 mile ultra marathon across the Chinese Gobi Desert. You're in the most inhospitable conditions in the world. You're across a desert, temperatures ranging up to 125 degrees, and it can be brutal day and night. So, this little stray dog uh, beside me now, she actually joined me on day two of the race. And from that point on, Gobi started teaching her running pal some important lessons, starting with winning isn't everything. On day three of the race, Gobi would be running behind me and uh, she would actually stop uh, as I would enter a large river crossing and she would actually stop on the riverbank and she would start whining and squealing and barking and yelping at me as I moved my way across the river. So Dion had to make a choice. Do I keep going to try and win the race or do I stop and help out this little stray dog? He turned back and ended up finishing the race with her in second place. She wore me down during the week and uh, she finally got into my heart and uh, that was it then. I made her a promise that I was going to bring her back to the UK and to be part of our family. But Gobi just couldn't get on a plane. She had to go through a lot of red tape, which taught Dion his second lesson, determination. The next day after the race had been completed, I actually had to fly back to Edinburgh. Someone put up their hand to say that they would look after Gobi for me. While Dion was home raising money for Gobi's rescue, the unthinkable happened. Gobi ran away. So I received a phone call to say that she was missing in a city of three million people in Urumqi in northwest China. So we flew back, hoping against all odds that he would find his friend. So I set up a search team and volunteers to scour the city for her, and after 10 days and a real roller coaster ride, we, we made the miracle happen and uh, we found Gobi. And uh, it was one of the best days of my life. It seems like a miracle. After surviving the harsh desert and being alone in a huge city, Gobi was finally reunited with Dion. Hello. And was able to meet her new mom, where she taught her final lesson. The importance of family. I always say that finding Gobi was one of the hardest things I've ever done, and her finding me was actually one of the best things that's happened to me. They're living happily at home together, and their next journey is all about helping others find that same happiness. But we've also been really lucky and fortunate to be able to share Gobi's story to help other stray dogs um, around the world as well, and by actually sharing the story of, of Gobi's journey. You can find out more about their incredible journey by going to thelisttv.com. Finding Gobi. And she's loving being here and she's really living the dream now. Is on the top of the list.